The first step in getting your own Pantheon hosting set up, of course, is to create a free account. Go ahead and click on Create a Free Account, and it's going to ask you just some basic information here. I'm going to grab an account at my OS training. I'm not going to check that off for now, and I'm going to use a fairly strong password here. If you're going to do this and actually use Pantheon, you should read their terms of service, but I'll just mention here, they're very gracious, and there are no catches here. It's free development for as long as you need it. So it's going to ask me just to get my email verification. I'm going to flip over to my email and click the link that comes with it. And so now that my account is verified, you'll see that I have my name, my organization, email address when I joined, and that I have two dev sites left. One of the great things about Pantheon, I can develop two Drupal sites for free forever, and I don't start paying for them until they go live with a proper URL. Well. There's the documentation and support. I'm going to let you look at those yourself. Support is just a quick link over to the section where you can submit a support request. Your site's an account. That's this screen. And of course, log out. You'll note that you can download all Drush aliases. Now, I'm going to stick with basic FTP here, but uh, we do have a great Drush course at OS Training. I encourage you to take that course and then come back and possibly use it on your Pantheon site. You'll find that it's a great time saver. I'm going to create a site right now. So we're just going to call this my Pantheon training site. And you'll see that the site development URL is my-pantheon-training-site.gotpantheon.com. And of course, that needs to be unique. So if somebody else has actually used that site name, you'll need to change it. Once I click Create a Site, I can do one of two things. I can start from scratch, or I can actually import a site that I've already got. This includes importing one off of Aquas Dev Desktop, a local host site that I'm using MAMP or WAMP for, or even a real site that's out there somewhere on the web. We're going to focus on Drupal 7 today, but you can also do WordPress and Drupal 6. You can even start with a distribution, including Commerce Kickstart, Open Academy, Open Outreach. Many of the distributions that are available at Drupal.org are supported here. One that you really might want to check out is Panoply. That is an amazing distribution that gives you drag and drop site building tools that really take Drupal way beyond what it normally does. We'll keep it simple today. We're just going to do a basic vanilla Drupal 7 site. Once I click that button, it doesn't take very long at all to create my site. And we're done. Loading the dashboard brings me to this page that you'll spend a lot of time in and some really helpful information. You can connect directly with your development environment using SFTP, or you can try auto-connecting with a GUI client, and there's some other links here that you can get started with. You can visit the development site. You can also incorporate Git into all of your workflow here. Again, as I mentioned earlier, you can even use Drush, and it's actually worth understanding Pantheon's workflow. We'll take a look at that in the next video.